All right, so this is what our searching our for tomorrow. Second, this is our second Third. before video. Our, oh, our yeah. second before video was really good one. So, and the, we're going to start reading Searching for Tomorrow's Energy by Melissa McDaniel. Okay, but. Um, I think this will help you guys in energy debates just because it might like say the percentage of how much is used right now and where it's yeah, used. Yeah, the table of contents. It says trouble with fossil fuels, power from the wind, from the sea, trapping heat, earth heat, uh -huh. building a better car, and then conclusion. So I so searching for tomorrow's energy kind of hints with that it says that there is kind of like alternative energy sources and like um for energy and kind of just other energy sources besides fossil fuels. So I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be about. What do you say, Ryan? Yeah, I think that that's a great prediction. And I mean with with um water the maybe. water, wind, sun and sea and then trapping each earth, that's pretty much saying Solar, hydro, wind, and geothermal. So, yeah, I think this will be a very useful book. Um, chapter 3 is on 13. I want to see something. Yeah, it says geothermal energy. So it's about, I'm assuming it's going to be hydropower, solar, wind, and geothermal, which I am geothermal, and I might be going against solar and wind, either one, whoever wins. We've read a book about solar and wind, and now they're just an all combined one. So this is going to be cool, because we already learned about the two, and I'm an expert on geothermal energy, so, yeah. so I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Not, kind of. Not really, but. Okay. Done.